special greetings from Miro African Television. I am your presenter, Zebedi Ejilike Mouakorye. Hello, my people. Mwosu Anthony. I say hello from my studio. Um, Oga Dremo Biafra Namana Mbochin Kedeta. Anyena Abako Kaimuti here. Um, our gathering here today is not to fight each other, not to disrupt all the effort or the struggle that we have been fighting to acquire or to achieve our dream means uh, our special place that god promised to us and uh, i would like to use this opportunity to make a special uh, um, um, announcement um, barrister emeka is not against biafra barrister emeka is not against the struggle Barrister Mecca is only emphasizing and elaborating on the issues working around. Um, in everything that runs around this clock, around the planet, there must surely be misunderstanding. There will be um, 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 issues. But here today, we will no longer allow classified information to flow out because of our enemies. And... Um, I will um, tell my people, anything classified, we will treat it underground. Are you with me? Yes, 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 my people. Yeah. Um, yes, 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 thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, today we have issues to discuss. Baris, I got to join us in a, in, a, in a little time because today we will spend 60 minutes not more than 60 minutes um i read out uh, the issues that will be treated today so let me invite uh, our great um teacher great brother biafra lover a very strong activist a barrister that stand by his people no matter whatever that happens he never deviate and those that think that uh, normally says i was as all i was as please keep your tongue shut if he doesn't want to, if he doesn't understand, Kotronya Nogenako, ask him or get in a mech or Kawarago Fuma, Udoga Dromo Biafra, or Tawol Ode, Ainge Jiria Naga, Sunu, Kaina Welcome Biafra, Kaina Barakwan Kwaji, the Monakwan, be a motivation song. Sunu, Banam Kwa, and working here, maybe maybe Nimea, Yagazero Biafra, or Gadrana. Hello. 
Hello, Barista. Hello. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Can you hear me? I'm hearing you. If it's a botaya, he said clean, clear. That's very good. <laughs> I can see your face shining. Thank Hemgala, you. What is your face, Barista? Will sunshine. I want Thank to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you, Barista. Um, a lot of our brothers are waiting. And uh, oh, we can't wait to dip in into your knowledge and into your teaching, Barista. Um, today, my people, on the screen, you will be seeing the WhatsApp chat. I will be televising the chat. If question comes in, I will televise your chat. You will see that WhatsApp is displaying there. That is, the more you look, the less you home. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Barista, please uh, talk to your people, greet them. They are hearing you live. Thank you, thank you, uh, my my brothers and sisters. I am Emeka Emeka Siri, uh, Barista and Solicitor. I practice both in Nigeria and in the UK. I'm the Solicitor for Indigenous People of Biafra. That is, uh, you mo maybe you've heard about me, so maybe that's not it's not necessary to go on into long introduction. I'm your brother, Emeka Emeka Shri. You're welcome to the program. Thank you, sir. Thank you for joining us today. Barista, I have a very powerful umbo to throw on you. I hope you will be proof to, to accept yes. it. <laughs> yes, by the, by the grace of God. Ask him. So long as it is legal question. <laughs> Don't legal keep question. legal. Legal. You know? Legal. Okay, man, okay, man. Uh, you know, I'm law. Yes. <laughs> law and diplomacy. Law uh, and diplomacy. Okay, sir. Okay, I got my leg. I'm abide to the law. So, all right. But so my it? question today is this: How do you think you can help your people to achieve Biafra? Wow. That's a that's a, a big question, but it is very easy why i say it is very easy is that independence of biafra is not the first and will not be the last yes many nations have got independence so why is it difficult for us to understand the procedure why is it difficult i don't know barista it's because our people are unteachable let me use the word unteachable Every person says he knows it. Every person knows everything. That is the problem. Unteachable people. So what do you do? Sometimes you, you, you are frustrated. You leave them and say, okay, let them go ahead. Since they know it, let them go ahead. Okay, now you know that we don't know it. How do we get Biafra? First, okay, let us be natural. Everything takes a natural process. When you want to build a house, what do you do? You go and clear the land. Is it not true? As so charge now, yes. Good. Biafra project yeah, is in three phases. There are three phases of Biafra project. Three phases. Phase one is the Isochoya awareness, okay. clearing the ground. Yes, no That is the first project. And that project has been completed. That project started well at the first time it was military action and it, we didn't succeed but the echo of biafra started that time 1967 when the echo of biafra was dying down by 1999 chief raf was reactivated it reinvigorated it and the echo of biafra started again 1999 that is awareness creating the awareness before 1999 people were afraid to talk about biafra yes 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 but Owazrike came up and started talking about biafra and received a lot of persecution punishment, punishment. that is the he passed through hell in the name of biafra he bought the bronze and he 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 stood his ground for biafra at least he was able to now project the name of Biafra to international standards. In fact, it was at his, during his time that America 
I remember Voice of Biafra International, Vobi in America, and Voice and Biafra, uh, Radio Biafra in London. It was Uwazrike who established these things. Yes, yes, yes. I know that. So, so Uwazrike took the name of Biafra to international world, to the, to the international community. Now, that awareness which he created at a point, it, it appeared that it was going down again. Now, Namdi Khan, who was his boy, also continued with the same um, awareness campaign. Yes. So, what Namdi Khan is doing is actually continuation of what Wazike did. Awareness com campaign. Like this protest on the streets, that was Wazike's um, uh, idea. Like sit at home, that is Wazike's idea. So, Namdi Khan is actually continuing with what Wazike did. Maybe he's doing it, uh, uh, he's, he has gone further. That is because of... More better. No, because of media power, media. Wazike is not a media a media practitioner, he's not a media man. So, Nnamdi can now use the media, the media uh, expertise now to announce Biafra to the whole world. So, that is the first project. Phase one is Awareness, awareness. Letting awareness. People That's know. phase one. Giving people the power to embrace the identity. Yes. Now, when this awareness was going on, now something people there was still confrontation. They were still in confrontation with the with the law enforcement agencies, and it was at this time I came into the struggle. Something I said, it shouldn't be like this. That first phase, there has to be something to legitimize the struggle. To make it legitimate. To advocate for Biafra independence without being in confrontation with the law enforcement agencies. Because I live in England and I've seen how Scottish people are um, advocating for their own independence. And I have never seen them in confrontation with British police or British army. I said, okay, it, uh, the understanding or the knowledge that people have may be different. Okay, each time I talk about it, they say, well, that those, uh, those are developed areas, they are developed countries. Uh, it's not like Nigeria that is not developed. I don't quite share th that view. If you teach Nigerians, they will accept. If you give them knowledge, they will accept. Okay, when I now said we have to legitimize the Biafran struggle, that should be the first thing. I came down to Nigeria and conducted interviews and stayed for about three months, conducted interviews and came back to England, we met with the British authorities, conducted interviews, got some documents, got everything I needed to now come back to Nigeria and file a case between Biafra and Nigeria. Now, why I did that was first to legitimize the struggle, like what I have told you about judicial immunity. Yes. That when, when two parties are in court, the law protects both of them. Nobody should interfere or disturb or harass or molest each other until the case is over. Mm -hmm. So by, by bringing Biafra and Nigeria together in court, then all Biafrans are protected by judicial immunity. Nobody can touch you in the name of Biafra unless you commit a crime. If you commit a crime, you'll be arrested for the crime, not because you're a Biafran, but because of the crime. I hope you understand that. Yes, sir. Good. So you, you wouldn't now because you are you 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 have you are in court with Nigeria, you're a Biafran in court with Nigeria, you can't commit a crime. No, you'll be arrested and punished for that crime. But nobody can arrest you for being a Biafran. And something else, this the case I filed in court, I made sure that the identity of Biafrans is upheld. Now, I filed in court the Biafran flag as our native uh, identity, that is um, uh, um, um, emblem. I filed in court the Biafran coat of arms. I filed in court um, the things that you can use to identify a Biafran. And then, and we now argued in court that what we lost after the war was our sovereignty but not our identity as a nation. 
So there is the difference between a nation and a nation state. A nation state is a sovereign state. Yes. But a nation, a nation is a people like we. Biafrans are a nation living in Nigeria. We lost our sovereignty, but we did not lose our identity as a people. So we now argued in court that what Biafrans lost was their sovereignty, but not their identity as a nation. Therefore, we are a nation called Biafrans living in Nigeria. And then there was one argument I made which took the Nigerian uh, uh, lawyers uh, 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 by surprise or unaware that if, that in fact, I said that Nigeria made a mistake, that if Nigeria had succeeded to annihilate Biafrans the way Rome annihilated Carthage, then there wouldn't have been any remnants now called the Biafrans. But for failing to annihilate us in 1970, when the war ended, for sparing our lives, they made a mistake by sparing our lives. They should have annihilated us, and by now nobody would have remembered us. Yeah, but Thomas Sanjo wanted to do the same thing. Well, I, but what I'm trying to say is that if they had succeeded, we would have been forgotten. The world would have moved on. The world would have forgotten us. They would have moved on the way they forgot Cartage. Have you, you you read about Cartage in the in, in the history? But where is Cartage now? Where are they now? They've been that is they've been consumed. So Biafrans were not consumed. We, the remnants were left. And the Bible says that the remnants that were left shall take root downwards and and then and move upwards. That is, we shall be established, take root downwards and bear fruit upwards. That is the spiritual principle that the remnants that are left will be established. Both in law, uh, both uh, natural law, spiritual law, the remnants are protected. Fine. What, what do we now do? Since we are now in court, judicial immunity covers us. We can now be free to do whatever we want to do. While the case continues, we organize ourselves. So... We now go into the second phase of the Vyapram project. And what is that phase? Building structures on the ground. Yes. That is the second phase. And that is the phase where I am. Doing, that is where I am called into now. In this prog program, in this Vyapram project, my own phase is the phase two. Phase two. That is building structures on the ground. I may not be the person that will do phase three. I'll tell you what phase three is. I'll tell you what phase three is. Okay. But we are now at phase two. Phase two is building structures on the ground. Any people who want independence must be organized and have structures on the ground. I asked you a question the other day. Assuming that the president of Nigeria makes an announcement this night that, okay, Biafrans, go, you are now free. What will happen? Um, you don't have anything. but but Marisa, they say that they, they have structures already on the ground that they are, they have already uh, established who oh, what structures what do you mean like in the carlos Baris, um lawyer that came on that day he said that they have yeah. structures everything is already established what what do you mean by everything of structures established they said they have already established a structure i don't know like, maybe, like uh, what government running on the ground okay all right let's continue with yours i just um, um okay keep it in, you know. i had it's okay i had some people who said they they have a, a secret government or mm -hmm. they call it a shadow government or something i said no i don't want anything secret i want it to be legal lawful clear done under the nigerian law mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not hiding so and how do we do it if we do secret gov governance, they, they might accuse us of planning to subvert the gov Nigerian government. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so what we did was to use the Nigerian law that provides for customary government and then gather the elders together to form the customary law government. Yes. The, on the only problem we have now is that the customary government that the elders formed has no um, has not been passed into uh, there's no bill the bill has not been passed into law to make it a statutory organ yes 
statutory organ, it means that if the state house of assembly passes the bill into law now, it means that it becomes a statutory organ which the state can finance. Just the way the northern states are financing the Sharia government in the north. Yes, yes, yes. Like, like the are Sharia police and everything. Yes, because yeah, they have Sharia our, our That's people, what... we are questioning, but it's a sorry that I'm cutting you short, that uh, Nam De Carlo form something security service in 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 the east and uh, the government we are we are fighting against it why there is sharia police in the north and now okay. you have touched that area okay let me answer you let me answer you the sharia police in the north has a legal backing it was established by the house of assembly of a state not federal no, it is the state, the, all the, the 12 or 13 states of the northern Nigeria, they passed the Sharia government bill into law. Not federal government, state governments passed the Sharia government bill into law and created a Sharia government territory for themselves and created the Hizba police and all other structures created by state law. Do we have such in the east? No, do we have we we have a culture and uh, 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 have more no, what I mean is this what I mean is this we tried we have Ndinche, which is not yet um the bill has not been passed into law by any state house of assembly mm -hmm. if you want to if you want to operate the security service for instance the only thing you can do now you can go to uh, corporate affairs commission and register a security outfit just like these people that um uh there's megad with the kind of megad or something they go there can be security men uh, watching over maybe hotels or houses and so on you can operate such security outfit is private security uh, um, organization that's not what we are talking about we are talking about something more than that a police force Created under law, under law. But but it's it's who will be paying the, these people? That's I'm um, Now it seems he didn't understand me. Who pays the uh, Sharia police? I don't know. The Isba. What are you talking about? Is it that you're not understanding me? I said, <laughs> any government, any government that passes the bill into law, creates that org organization as a statutory organ of government or by that state. Yes, but uh, um, 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 wouldn't so they... that the state, the state will not be paying the the people, yeah. paying the workers in that outfit. Um, but Paris, I have another question. Wouldn't the 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 national senate block such a move if we no. want to do it in the eastern region? No, no, no. The state has power of security among uh, uh, in the state itself. Don't you know that the the, 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 the governor of the state is the chief security officer of the state. Don't you know that? Yeah, I know that. You don't, you know, or haven't you? Maybe you have had it, but you don't. The problem, I think the problem Biafrans have is that they don't know how to use power. <laughs> they, they, that is, they are empowered no, without knowing how to use power, but the Northerners know how to use power. Because they have advisors from Britain. But why don't we have advisors? Because, because we don't want to love us. Nobody loves us. No, don't say nobody loves us. You see, the problem of again is this your mentality <laughs> that nobody loves you, that nobody. Yes. <laughs> and you now let me make a statement. Okay, sir. I want to say that the British government loves the Biafrans. I know that some of you say well, well, he's a... don't allow these guys online now to hear this thing you just Hold said. On. This speech you just Hold said now. Even me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to say that the British government lo loves the Biafra. Okay, let me say the British government does not hate the Biafrans. Okay. Eh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Because if I say the British government loves the Biafrans, you start shouting and start crying that uh, start attacking me. Okay, let me use say it the other way. The British government does not hate the Biafrans. But one thing I know is that the British government believes in the rule of law and that if Biafrans follow the due process, due process both in law and diplomacy, the British government may be the first government to recognize Biafra. Did you see my eyes?
<laughs> you see, you see the problem. The problem is that um, many people don't seem to understand. A clear, a clear, in, clear. In, it was, uh, we are not learned like you people that has learned and learned friends. We now, are in, the ordinary people on the street, barrister. In 2014. Okay, hold on. In 2014, we wrote. When we started in diplomatic moves, after we had visited Australia, we had written to uh, Germany, France, and some other countries. Um, we also wrote to the British government. British government replied, I have the copy of the letter. They wrote to us because they, I wrote through my uh, chambers. So they now replied and sent a copy to me, which a copy I sent it to the elders also. We wanted them to recognize us and support our struggle. And we recounted the things, the basis, why we want to pull out from Nigeria. Now, they wrote to us and they said something. They needed evidence of institutionalized persecution against the Biafrans in Nigeria. In fact, in that letter, they refer to us as Biafrans in Nigeria. Wow. Yes, I have a copy of the letter. They refer to us as Biafrans in Nigeria. And said that they had, of course, we, did, we had not presented to them evidence of institutionalized persecution. How do not that they don't know. Listen, not that they don't know what is happening. But do you have documented, you see, a judge, a judge looks at the whole thing and says, well, we, from the evidence before me. Yes, I, yes. So, but if you're on the street shouting and shouting and shouting, but there is no evidence before the court. Tomorrow you say, hey, and the, and the lawyer, and the judge, and you have bribe. You have not presented <laughs> concrete evidence before the court. That's what I'm saying. If you follow this thing properly, due process, establish your case before the authorities britain may be the first to recognize biafra about no emotionalism if you like shout and shout and cause and cause and and call people bad names i'm struggling to wait wait to wait in a job concrete evidence and not just concrete presenting this evidence before the appropriate authority you know when I entered the struggle, some people told me that I have been writing letters to United Nations without getting any reply. I said, I said, yes, now, nah. United Nations cannot reply you. They said, why? I said, because you are not in the system. They don't know who you are. Yes. Now, when I, if I write to United Nations, now they reply me. How? Why do they reply me? Now, I ha we have an organization that has ECOSOC status with United Nations. Belay for Biafra. Belay for Biafra. Belay Human Rights Initiative. Yes. Was ad admitted into ECOSOC status with the United Nations in 2015. Now, when we want to write a letter to the United Nations, we don't go and post it in the post office. No. When you are admitted into the ECOSOC status, you are given a password. So on my intern on the on my computer and internet, I will log in. There's a password I will use and I'll come I will I will now connect and I'll send the message. And they'll receive it immediately and send back to me. It's not something you go to post office and post. Okay. My you people. Know, this, you see, you? Yeah. people are so ignorant. You go to post office, you put a stamp there and post it and say they were replying to you. You know. So the thing is that our people, every person seems, every person, in fact, they're all so unteachable. Every person says he knows everything. Okay. I'm talking about the second phase of Biafran struggle. That's where we are yeah. building the structures. Yes. Now, what we want to do now is what the North has done already. The North has been able to organize it themselves. They have organized themselves. In fact, if they want to pull out now, they can pull out. They have got a law backing them up. They have created the Sharia government territory. Hmm by law, passed by the House of Assembly in the North. They have not gone out from Nigeria yet. They are still within Nigeria, but they have carved out a Sharia government territory for themselves. 
so when I, I entered into the struggle, that was the first thing I did was to uh, to um, draft a bill. But the bill I drafted then, there was nobody in the House of Assembly. No, but there, there was no Biafran. When I asked some questions, they said that they were told, the Biafran said they were told that they, they were Biafrans, not Nigerians, and therefore they should not participate in Nigerian politics. I said, ah, how then, who will move your motion in the House of Assembly? I'm not talking about National Assembly. Yes. National Assembly, we, we don't have power there because... They, they cheated us so much that if you bring any bill in the Senate, the bill will die because we don't have enough votes. We are very few there. Yeah. They, they didn't give us enough seats in the National Assembly. So if you bring any bill there, yeah, the Alsace and Yorubas will just counter it and the thing will die. But I'm talking about the houses of assembly in the East where only the Biafrans occupy the seats. Both the Speaker of the House and the all the members of the House of Assembly, they are all Biafrans. Is it not true? It's true, sir. You are right. Good. So, so, but there was no Biafran activists among them. Because the, the activists refused to join the politics. So, the bill I drafted then, there was nobody. Until, in recent times, we now started seeking for a way to penetrate, to get somebody who can present our bill in the House of Assembly. We want that bill to be passed. Just one House of Assembly to pass the customary government of Biafra bill, recognizing indigenous plural of Biafra as a statutory entity in Nigeria. I'm not saying pulling out from Nigeria first to listen. First, organizing yourselves within Nigeria first. Okay. Having a statute, a that is statute, statute, that is a law of the state creating the Biafrans first. Do you know that right now we are a people living in Nigeria without a boundary? If you are told now to bring the map of Biafra now, any map you bring now will be disputed. Some say well, we are not part, some say we are, some say we don't belong, some say why do you put our name? Why do you put our, our name inside the map of Biafra? Yes. Draw any map now, draw any map now. Include, uh, maybe include rivers, include aquaibum, or include the uh, data, include, uh, or it, it will see people who will say, why did you put us there? Are we part of you? That map will be disputed. Do you know that? Yes, sir. Yeah. But do you know that if any state government, if Imo state or Abia state, any state government now that passes that bill into law, automatically the map of that state becomes part of Biafra immediately by law. Okay. It's a very simple thing. But the problem now is who will move our motion and pass the bill in the House of Assembly in the East? We just want one person. We just want only one state first. Because I see, I, I know what happened in the north. Zamfara State started. Zamfara State passed that bill into law. By the time you knew it, all other 12 or 13 states of the north, all of them passed that bill and constituted themselves into Sharia government territory. And our people are here fighting that uh, Sharia is operating in Nigeria while it's not in Nigerian constitution. <laughs> You see, I like the Northerners are very wise, very, very wise. They know how to use power. It's unfortunate. What can I say? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to blame anybody. I will just blame ourselves. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, we, when uh, I now say, okay, let us see what we can do uh, to establish uh, proper structures on the ground. Um, we are operating under customary law. Customary law is effective, uh, well, it is legal, it is lawful, but the problem is the effectiveness of it. How do you enforce it? The highest you can do under customary law is to excommunicate somebody. That is, ostracize somebody who has offended you. And then, how do you raise money under customary law? Obo by Otuisi, you know, take your gong, uh, go around the community. Say, it has been decided. Every adult bring ten naira. Every woman or five naira. Uh, we have we want to do this or do that. That is just how to raise funds under customary law. 
But if a state passes this into law, the state now begins to finance us. We uh, now use the state. We now use the state machinery, state police, state I mean, or we create our own okay. under the state power. Barrister, don't be annoyed. I will yeah. ask the question that a common man on the Nigerian or Biafran street, when he hear this statement you made, he would like to ask. Yeah. Won't you think that if Nigerian government or Nigerian states start sponsoring our struggle, we will be compromised? Okay. Or to force us to do what we don't want to do because they are financing us. Okay. What I said, it didn't, I, don't, I don't think what I, I said sank into your head. I understand what I you mean. I said what if a common man on, the, on Biafra land. I, do, I want those common men you are talking about to have knowledge. To have knowledge. Yeah. If the government passes this bill into law, automatically the government is responsible to finance this struggle. Who is financing Sharia, Sharia movement? Government. Eh? Government. Yeah, the Sharia movement, this thing, that who is financing it? Yes. It is the government of the North. The Northern states are financing it. That means the Northern government has the already established indirectly Arewa government. It's already exactly. existing. While exactly. our own That's Biafra government is, is, is being swept under the carpet. Do you know that the Arewa government, they have act, they're actually running Arewa government using our oil money? Because when you get the state allocation, you now, you now allocate to the Sharia, customer, Sharia government uh, parastata. Because it is a state parastata, state organ. Okay. So this, this mentality Biafrans have, I don't know how, how to reorientate their minds. If are you saying that you, as a Biafran activist, yes, you become the governor of your state, and then I bring the bill, the Biafran bill, to the house of uh, your house of, or I, in fact, I tell you to pass it as an executive bill, then you don't know how to use power to pass it. Okay, I had people shouting that Okorocha has done that, Okorocha has done that which we condemn. I condemn it entirely. But I want you to learn something from that action. Do you know what he exercised? He exercised executive power, but he exercised it wrongly. Okay. But he exercised power. Uh-huh. But he exercised it wrongly. Assuming he is a Biafran activist, he will exercise this power in a proper way. So, the governor of a state is the chief security officer of the state. And he has power to exercise over the state. Um, but, but you must exercise that power properly, uh, judicious. Yeah, but it's, I'm, I'm picking points from what you are saying. You said um, a governor of a state is what? Chief security officer of the state. And the Obiano is telling Anambra State people that he doesn't know, he's not aware of the police shooting and the killings of the citizens of his state. He then he doesn't, he then doesn't Anambra, know his job. People, Anambra people should drag Obiano, Obiano to court and, uh, <laughs> and get him arrested. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. They so, should, in fact, they should impeach him. If, if a governor says he, he is not able to protect his uh, territory. They should bring. They should impeach him immediately. House of Assembly should impeach him. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's the chief security officer of the state. If I were in Anambra State and maybe if I were a, 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 a politician in the House of Assembly, I'll just bring, come to the house and tender and start start process of uh, impeachment immediately and remove any governor that cannot protect his people because you are the chief security officer of the state. I heard that uh, there was um, um, when um, is it Uzuwani when the Fulani Hesman came that the governor was uh, um, governor was phoning Abuja. That's a Nugu state. That's a Nugu state. They, yes, you are right. Abuja and uh, he couldn't get through to govern or to president. They, they put or him on hold. Yeah, he put him. On. Wow! Does he, he doesn't know he has the power to even command in the state? 
Oh my uh, God. Because, uh, Barista, wrong people are taking position in Eastern region and they allow the caliphate um, northerners to dictate to them how to run their state. Because, Barista, you're a barrister, you're a lawyer. You know your right. You know the fundamental human right of every citizen of your state. And you know the duty of a, of a governor. You know the power, the executive power guiding you as a governor. You will execute everything without even looking the president's face. You no, you don't, need to, you don't need to call the president. You don't need to call Abuja. You protect your territory. You are the chief security officer of the state. I don't understand how this... I don't know. I don't know where, where you people voted them into power. <laughs> I'm not a politician. I'm a lawyer and an activist. Uh, uh, I have also a question, Barista. Um, yes. On this uh, Hesman of a ten, in United States, um, uh, uh, well, well, we discussed this issue last time. Let me leave it. Let me leave it. Um, um, so what we are saying is that we need to have a structure. We have yeah. in in 2016 on Al Jazeera, um, um, the president on the 3rd of July, 3rd of July 2016. President Muhammad Buhari made a statement on Al Jazeera that the Biafrans should organize themselves and vote for a state within a state. That the Biafrans should organize themselves and vote for state within the state. In other words, that we could govern ourselves within Nigeria. The, the President Buhari made that statement that let me quote let me quote him he said let me quote him in the paper he said we have a democracy system now let them organize themselves and vote for a state within a state but to try and interfere looking for biafra after two million people were killed they are joking with the security and nigeria won't tolerate biafra now analyze this statement he said we have a democracy now let them organize themselves and vote for a state within a state. Take that statement first. Then he now said, but to try and interfere looking for Biafra after two million people were killed, they are joking with the security. And Nigeria won't, uh, Nigeria won't tolerate Biafra. So let us dissect this statement. Okay, the sir. first part, the first part, he said we have a democracy let them organize themselves and vote for state within the state that is the first statement before now he went further to say if you are looking for biafra that nigeria will not tolerate biafra what is he talking about that nigeria can tolerate state within the state that biafra within nigeria but not not biafra pulling out exactly that is first step now that is exactly what Scotland, Scotland is enjoying now. Scotland is, has independence within the United Kingdom, within Britain. Yes. Now, that now helps you to organize yourself, have your own police, have your army, have your... In fact, Scotland has, their, has its own uh, currency, has its own passport, has its own national team, Scottish national team, England, where they also... You now have a kind of state within a state. Hmm. That is where we are going now. That is my mission now. That is what I am called to do. That is the second phase of, Niger of the Biafran project. You have said it all, Barista. Using the word called to do, that means called to serve the Biafrans. Yes, that is, well, that is establishing the... That is... The Biafran, the second phase of the Biafran Whoa. project, that is what this I'm going to press. Now, there is a third phase, which I say I don't know who will do it, whether I will be alive when it will be done. A third phase is having established Biafra within Nigeria and organize ourselves, we can now think of when to pull out. When I did when I did a research on this book, before I wrote when I wrote this book. I found out from the research work that the Biafrans were divided into two groups. One group says they want outright independence from Nigeria. 
Another group says they want Biafra within Nigeria. But the, both of them say they want freedom. Okay. Either freedom within Nigeria as a self-governing entity or freedom outside Nigeria. So both parties want freedom. But is it freedom within Nigeria or freedom outside Nigeria? I know some people who are impatient will say, no, freedom outside Nigeria. We want freedom outside Nigeria. We don't want to do anything with Nigeria. But see, check, check and understand. Everything has a process. Is it not better to start with Biafra within Nigeria first, like Scotland within Britain? Mm -hmm. Then after some years, by that time we must have learned our lessons, we must have organized ourselves, we must have, been, we must have disciplined ourselves to know how to use the power of sovereignty. Then after some years, we can now go for the next, that is the third, the phase three. Phase three project of pulling out entirely. Which I said, I don't know whether that, I don't know whether that one will happen in my lifetime or <laughs> after me. But my calling now is to establish Biafra within Nigeria first. Okay, you stand for um, establishing Biafra within Nigeria. First step, I'm not saying that is the end. Yeah, I understand, Barista, because... Then, uh, when we organize ourselves, and we now know we can govern ourselves, we now have the discipline to be obedient to authority, discipline to listen, discipline to organize and obey authority within Biafra, under supervision of world powers. When we are disciplined enough, then we can now take the next step of pulling out entirely. Because, you know why I'm saying this? If we are not disciplined enough to know how to use the power of sovereignty, what happened to South, South Sudan? South Sudan, yeah. They happened to us. But, uh, um, Barrister, um, I'm not cutting you short. Um, during the time of independence, to my best knowledge, that uh, Nigeria got their independence and run for how many, how many years before they become a republic? You know, yes. We don't have, to... have history in our schools today. <clears throat> And yeah, you're right. Nigeria got independence in 1960, but was not free from Britain. was not free as a, no was not free from Britain. The Queen of England was still the head of state of Nigeria until 1963. That's three years after, before Nigeria now became a republic. That total freedom. So Nigeria took three years to now become totally free. And I heard that there's a country that spent up to 15 good years in Southern... 14, 14 years. Yeah. That is Trinidad and Tobago. They got independence in 1962, but they were not free until 1976. That is 14 years until they were now able to be totally free. There are so many of them. Like even this um, Brexit, as an example. Yes. They gave themselves two years before total pullout. So there is always... A gestation period like when a child is conceived in the womb the child stays nine months to be born so there has to be that gestation period i know that biafrans uh, seem to be impatient but it is better to be patient otherwise what happened to south sudan will happen to us um uh, we reject it in jesus name both is something that needs to be done period so that is the phase two project okay we want to establish it now we want to pass our bill into law the biafran bill into law to recognize the indigenous people of biafra as an entity protected by law of nigeria under state statutory under state powers the people should be protected the government of indigenous people of biafra should be accorded recognition by the state law the customary government should be upgraded to statutory organ of governance and th then 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 we cannot have our state police our customary police ninja, customary whatever we want to have and we continue organizing ourselves until now when that structure is in place you can now see that when the time for referendum comes there is a structure on the ground for referendum there yeah. is now there is now 
an authority speaking for the people. Yes. Just like in Scotland, they have authority speaking for the people. So we have to have authority speaking for the people. It's not, it's not a yeah, crowd is good, but we want to go down to the to the specifics. You see one thing with with multitude or multitude opinion. They move like wind. They like wave. And mo some of them may not be able to articulate issues or analyze issues and understand. So we need to make people understand. Well, as yes. much as possible as much as possible because not every person will understand that's the problem <laughs> but they can turn you see the problem with crowd is that look at what happened to jesus christ the same crowd that followed him when he was going to jerusalem and say hosanna hosanna in the highest hosanna hosanna that same crowd within the next the following day they now turned around and said crucify him crucify him Yes. Him. yes. The same, the same multitude that follow, the same multitude turned overnight and said, "Crucify him! Crucify him!" You see how the how the multitude follow, how they move. Yes. It's better to stand out from the crowd so that you can see clearly, because the way that is dangerous that leads to destruction, multitude flow through it. But that way that is that the way that is good the way that that is full of wisdom understanding that way is narrow only very few people find it so don't be moved don't be so emotional don't, you, you you lose your senses lose your yourself no be calculated be understanding try to understand i i, I like the army of gideon out of three hundred and thirty thousand, god tested them and how many Pass the test only 300 less than 10 percent wow yes 330,000 crowd came out but god led them through a test only 300 emerged as people who had understanding knowledge wisdom these people 300 and god said these are the people i'm going to use i like the sons of issachar only 200 in the whole or in the whole nation of israel 200 sons of issachar who knew the time who had knowledge wisdom and understanding and they knew the times and what is there ought to do so i want such people in biafra land who are men of wisdom and understanding men who know the times and what biafrans ought to do in the now and that is you barista that's why we are begging you no no i'm not it's not i i'm saying am i I can't do it alone. I need men. Men. Okay, some people, when this struggle started, some people said they don't like the due process. They don't like the legal methodology. That is, the legal methodology consists of the judicial process, the political process, and the diplomatic process. Yes. That's, that's the, that is the legal methodology. Why the other group said they don't like anything legal methodology, diplomacy, politics, that they want war, violence. He said, without violence, there can be no Biafra. That this legal methodology is fraud, is fake. And started uh, uh, advocating for the use of arms and ammunition to destroy Nigeria. Okay. Yes. In every freedom fighting, there must be factions. Continue with your faction. Let me continue with my own. No problem. But mm -hmm. nobody should attack each other. Okay? Yes, 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 yes. That's the nobody largest key. Yeah, nobody should attack, attack each other. Continue with what you are doing. Let me continue with what I'm doing. Don't attack me. I'm not going to attack you. I'm not going to stop you from acquiring arms and ammunition and destroying Nigeria. I'm not going to stop you. Go ahead, please, if that is what you want. But for me, I have chosen the pathway of met legal methodology, which consists of diplomacy, politics and law and judicial method and that is what we are doing so i need men who will be in this area and allow those who want to be on the other area so if you say you don't like 
the confrontational method of, of being con be in confrontation with the law enforcement agents and fighting with them or abusing them or insulting them or forcing them or whatever. If you don't like that method, then join me in the Lego method. We have a lot to do. We have to reach out. A lot of things to do. A lot of countries to visit. A lot of negotiations. We have to sit down and talk. In here, I got fire. But it's at this place you just touched now in terms of negotiation, Biko. Rotoak at that place is very, very important. I got money. For instance, Nigeria was created by the Great Britain. All right? Yes. So we can say that Nigeria is the son or daughter of Great Britain, depending on whether you see Nigeria as a man or woman. Mm -hmm. Good. Naturally, if any person wants to tamper with your child, are you going to keep quiet? No. Good. So the Great Britain has right to defend Nigeria. If you want to touch Nigeria, it's like, it's like slapping somebody, somebody's child. The father will come out to defend the child. So yes. Britain is correct. Britain has the right to protect Nigeria because they created Nigeria. So if you want to touch Nigeria, you must come to sit down with the father and talk with the father. Say, mm, uh, 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 this is your son called Nigeria. is giving me headache. Look at what I want to do. And then the father will agree with you on what to do, how to handle the child. Mm -hmm. it is, is it not natural? It is. Have, have the elders of Biafra land come now to sit down with the owners, that is the British government authorities, to sit down with them, eyeball to eyeball, say, this thing that is happening, let us talk about it. How do we solve this problem? We know that you are, you are the father of Nigeria. But now we want to be free. But we don't want to destroy what you have built. How do we go about it? Please, let's put heads together. They will listen to you if, you. if you now want to have a meeting with the British government, they will give you the respect and listen to you. But have you tried? No. <coughs> you have not tried. And you are because not there abu abusing, <laughs> abusing Britain, abusing America, abusing France. They are abusing them. But you have not even asked for even audience that you want to sit down with them. I told you that we wrote a letter to them and they replied. Imagine they're replying to us. Is it not giving honor to us? It's a great honor. Good. Which means that they're not what you think they are. If you go to them and sit down with them, they will listen. And say, so, okay, you want to be free? Okay, how? How do we do it? Look at this, look at this. Then we put heads together and see a way forward. Stop abusing Britain, abusing America, abusing uh, powers that will even help you in the end. Hmm. Barrister, you are you are teaching today is like uh, I'm preaching in the church. <laughs> because I don't know I don't know what to say for Biafra to understand. Sometimes I get so uh, I get so fed up and so frustrated that I'm talking to people who don't seem to understand. Yeah, but Barrister, you just said it all. You said that uh, um, um, when crowd is is uh, um, um, mingle around what you are doing, the 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 thing will, will have care leg. You understand if i understand it very well but if if a few people who understand are behind the struggle through the legal method that it will work perfectly now barrister you know all these things now how do we should we leave nam de carlo with his group on the street and uh, establish a legal method uh, or the one you have already established the leg uh, follow the legal method or should the beer france put one leg to nam the car on the street and put the other leg on this uh, legal method how can we do it right somebody is well, calling barista sorry uh barista is calling to your learned friend let's pick his call oh look at the time oh. it's late now i have to close I have oh. to go. Uh, uh, barista can you hear me it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It's after eight. I know, but it's just one minute. Let, let's let's hear from him, please. Hello, Mr. Manka. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear Good me? Evening, Mr. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I'm here. Yes, you. Welcome. 
Hello? So I can't hear you. Check, check your voice. Can you hear me? Check check the audio from your side. I'm seeing you clearly, but I can't hear you if you're hearing me. Moderator, um, what happens that uh, it's uh, quarter past eight now? Um, I uh, if I don't leave, I don't leave in the next five minutes now. Um, my journey will be prejudiced. So what I would say is. People must have listened to this teaching I gave now. Let them prepare their questions tomorrow. And let us start in time tomorrow. Okay. So tomorrow okay. is better. So I, so I don't miss uh, an app appointment now. Okay, sir. Um, Barista on tell, the line. Um, okay. You, I tell them. You, hear, tomorrow, you heard uh, what your learned friend just said. Um, I, heard, I heard him. Um, so, I can, so please, so that I, I don't miss the appointment. Sorry, the way we work here in England is terrible. There's no time. We are we are regulated so much. You try to m meet the, all the appointments, and um, well, it shall be well. Let's just try and do our best. So, please, I'm very very sorry. All the beer friends are listening to me. Get your questions ready tomorrow. I'm not going to teach. I'm going just going to take questions. So we we'll start again tomorrow. Eight, um, seven to eight. That's thank eight o'clock German time. God bless you, Barista. Thank God. you very much. But uh, your learned friend may stay. I may run a little bit with him. To see yes, him that's too. all right. Okay, thank so. you, my learned friend. God bless you. Bye it's bye. It's all right. The pleasure is mine. Have a good right. day. Bye, bye. 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 Yes. So, uh, my great brother, you are highly welcome to the show. Pleasure is mine. For those who doesn't know who is talking now, this is a. Uh, the voice of uh, Nam De Carlos lawyer. He is among the team of the the whole lawyers of Nam De Carlo. And he's just joined us now and uh, uh, I'm pleased to have him on this show. My brother, please talk to our people. They are hearing you. Okay. Um, fellow Nigerians and um, home ab and abroad, it's a privilege to be on air with you. Sorry I came in late. But I'm sure I'll be able to have a, a profitable discourse with you before we sign out. Yes. Uh, Thank you very much, Mr. Zebed. Thank you, my brother. The stage okay. is yours now. What would you like to add? I, I think you are listening to all that Barrister was saying since. What would you like to chip in? Um, I would like to be... I would like to be aware of what was said earlier because i wasn't following the whole thing before now okay i was trying to take care of some things yes um, he, he was teaching us how to get independence through legal method that uh, the method that the name the is following is good to create awareness and everything and uh, make people to embrace their their identity but uh, it's not the end you create awareness and uh, there are other people with legal method to create structures on the ground and i made him to understand that last time that you came in you met you, you just said something to my hearing that uh, there is already structures on the ground can you please uh, elaborate on that a little bit okay um, my learned friend did made mention of uh, putting structures on ground yes before making moves for the referendum, I would like to call on history at this point. You remember what happened in 1967 when Ojuku, the great Ojuku, declared the Republic of Biafra. We thought that we needed a lot of things to be done before declaration. But what was simply done those days was that all the institutions that were functional under Nigerian government were automatically maintained by the Brafran government. Are you getting it? Yes. The police was there. The Nigerian army, the, the, the army that was Nigerian army was there as Brafran army. Our immigration that was there as Nigerian immigration became Brafran immigration. The territory became the African territory. That's the custom they, they became swapped the everything over. Yes. The people that were lawyers under the Nigerian government automatically became lawyers practicing under the Biafran bar. Are you getting it now? Yes. So, I don't see 
the seriousness of the concern as to putting soldiers in place. It doesn't he doesn't pose any threat at all. Are you getting uh, it now? Yes. I wrote an, I wrote an article then about what the Biafrans stand to gain in the event of getting our nation actualized. I made mention of there will be mass recruitment in the immigration, in Biafran immigration. There will be mass recruitment in Biafran custom services. There will be mass recruitment in Biafran and um, Biafran uh, prison services. There will be mass recruitment in Biafran army, Biafran navy, Biafran air force, Biafran police. All these things, they are already in place. All we need to do is for the automatic transformation of those institutions to Biafran institution. People that will work there are, are, are Biafrans. There will be Biafran Central Bank. There will be Biafran Telecommunication com um, um, Commissions. There will be Biafran Commercial Banks. All those banks that have their branches in, in Biafran land, automatically they become Biafran banks. They will, be, they, they will need to incorporate, they will need to be reincorporated under Biafran um, Corporate Affairs Commission. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Yes. Some of us that are lawyers practicing under Biafra, under Nigeria, automatically will become called to, to the Biafran bank. All the federal government institutions like, like federal government school and universities and all that, automatically they become Nigeria and Biafran um, universities. So I don't see the problem with having institutions on ground. All we need to do is to have our people sensitized, which they are already doing. People are being massively sensitized. Okay. Let me tell you, forget uh, about this. Uh, Barista, there is a call on the line. Let's pick his call and hear from him. Okay. Hello, the call on the line. What's your name and where are you calling from? And lower the volume of your uh, set, please. Okay. Uh, my, my name is Uzo uh, Machigos. I'm calling from Gabon. Oh, salut, mon frère. Salut, salut. Uh, salut, salut, mon frère. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Oui, merci. Biko, my brother, I promise you. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, all these days, I've been following you. So everything in my So I love it. I like a young God is God Yama. But then I will be called. Somebody used to me issue only the people I did. And this issue is good today. All the very, very old thought. So I like the issue of life is something like this. Because who will never use the people? Because the people I am not that's how I am not working. Then I don't also, you know, after the new English, you know, after the new Kishata, you know, after the whole everything, you know, about this struggle of this Biafra. Because I want to know why I need to be Biafra, my brother. Any other new blank which you may have, because you come over and now you go to and now you are this our barrier to people. If you over here, we are here. Now you are on our journey to the Nala. Now you are my brother. Because no blood struggle, no man dream. Because by Arab, because I want to be because I Biafra people. Because come back. You saw a blink with the hair flying because you that time and achieve this Biafra because. Okay, um, thank you very much. I will um, let by um, barista know your demand, and uh, we are already working on that. We don't drag my brother. Thank you for calling in. Thank you, thank you, my brother. Biko, uh, my current friends again. I have the Biko, you are Biko. What blood bro? Biko, if they open up, I am on that program on my POD in Gabon here. I'm a member of IPOD. I've been contributing. You know that everything. You know that you guys and your matizi are covered as many things. Biko, 
so, Barista, sorry for cutting you short on that issue. Um, please proceed. Well, we needed, uh, we needed to hear from them. Yeah, we need so to hear from them. Yes. Yes, yes, yes from them. At least we feel their concern <laughs> because some of them that are not here in Nigeria, they need to, they need to know the, 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 the hardcore truths of what is happening, the reality on ground. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. when they call, uh, their calls should be welcomed. Yes, their calls should be welcomed. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if what what I was saying was made clear as to the need to have structures in place. Okay. What you want to tell the Nigerians now is that uh, nobody should be afraid of creating an institution. And uh, now that you just mentioned this thing, now now I started reasoning the reason why Nigeria refused to develop the Eastern Region. <laughs> yes. They led see, to what see, happened during the time see. of Ujuku. Time afraid of God, afraid of the, they, have, they, they always know there's no way that this issue of the Afra will not resurface. They know they know that the Afrans cannot allow the deaths of over three million persons to be in vain. That is why they have this our region underdeveloped. The other time, I was trying to say something. I don't know if you're hearing me, sir. I'm hearing you clearly. The other time, I, I was trying to say something. The appointment that was made four days ago in the NNPC. Yeah. About fifty something persons. Fifty something persons. Are you listening to me now? Clear. We have only three, only three from South South. Only three from Southwest. Then we have others. We have over forty seven of them from the north. And not even one person from the southeast. Wow. Can you imagine? Wow. Petroleum, petroleum, petroleum that is that is the mainstream of our economy. We don't have one single southerner, southeasterner in the board in the in the board of NNPC. But uh, don't you think that now, the Nigerian Senate or the legislators of the states, because I heard that the, the states have more power now, like the federal the, uh, government of Nigeria, are they happy how things are being run in that nation? Um, the, the, the thing is that our constitution is a product of military military governments. It does not in any way reflect the mind of the people. The constitution, the way it was crafted, does not in any way have the interest of the people at heart. It was originally meant to serve the purpose of the military dictators that were in power when it was made. Okay. Are you getting it now? Okay, yeah. We have, in our constitution, we have three different lists. We have what we call exclusive list. We have what we call concurrent list. We have what we call residual list. Exclusive list, we know, has to do with the areas of law where the federal government covers. Concurrent legislative list has to do with the areas of law or the affairs of the nation where both the federal government and the state government can interplay. We have the residual list where only the state government is empowered to legislate on those, uh, those items. But the problem is that there is so much concentration of power in the exclusive legislative list. Okay. That is the evil. Then the second leg of the evil is that there's what we call doctrine of covering the field. This doctrine implies that even in that concurrent list where the federal government and the state government enjoys jurisdiction over, you see that the, the principle provides that any area already covered or covered by the federal government, that the state government should not venture into it, regardless of the fact that it is under concurrent legislative list. And we now have few items that does not that do not feature much or impact in the life of the people in the residual list, wherein the local the, the state governments have exclusive power to legislate. That is the problem. The constitution does not in any way contemplate the interests of the people. There is so much power in the presidency. There is so we have so much power in the National Assembly. For example, now to create a state. Do you know what it is to, to create a state? 
No. The constitutional provision in the state is very, very rigorous. In fact, it cannot be achieved under any civilian rule. What the creation of states we've never had had always been under under military regime because the constitution is not followed. But if you try to follow the constitution, there is nothing that will make it possible for a state to be created because the National Assembly will have their two third majority. Then the states. House of Assembly in all the 36 states of Nigeria who agree by two thirds. Now tell me, how is it possible for a, nation, a, a state House of Assembly in the North to have two thirds majority of their members be agreeing for a creation of states in the Southeast? Uh, I get it. It means uh, even though we want to create states in Sokoto, Kaduna, all those places, they will vote it down because they will not like to divide themselves. That is the problem. If you now go, okay, if you if you go to the National Assembly, that you have at least two thirds majority of the votes. We have what we have there. Okay, we have three three senators from each state, and we have members of the House of Rep chosen from each state, depending on the number of local government of that state. If you go to Kano, we have up to for something local, local government in Kano, which means there could be. Over seven members of the House of Rep from Kano alone. Likewise in Zamfara and so many other so many other, 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 other they, they are dominating the Senate. Oh. That is how they dominate the Senate and the House of Rep. Okay, the Senate will have equal equal members to the Senate. But it is the House of Rep that is dependent upon the number of local governments we have in these states. And now there should be an agreement the, the, the law is that there, should, that there must be an agreement between the National Assembly, between the upper chamber. Which is the Senate and the lower chamber, which is which is the House of Rep. Now, even if there's an agreement by virtue of to term major, by way of to term majority in the Senate, there will be no agreement because of the inequality at, at the House of Rep. Now, even if you say okay, we have we have three senators from each state. Now, check three times nineteen, making up the nineteen northern states, and now say three times five, making up the southeastern states, or three times six, making up the, the south south southern states. That's inequality. It can't work. This dominance is there. It cannot be defeated under this present condition. But Are you getting it now? Is there anything that you think we can do to be able to neutralize all this system they are trying to establish? And the thing is that we they say that uh, this restructuring. They, 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 I don't want to mention the name of the person. If people that follow news that what happens in this country, they will know the person that made the statements. <laughs> they said that uh, this, is, this, this issue of restructuring is a game by the opposition party. That started because of Buhari came into power. But that is, not, that is not the truth. We have this restructuring problem. It came up when Abacha was in power. It came up when Bangladesh was in power. It came up three, day, three years after our independence. So the thing has been there. If there will be true federalism, eh, in this country, power will not be so much at the central government. But the, the, the truth is that there can never be federalism in this country. Because if it comes to be, the northern elements will not will lose their grip on the economy. Hmm. So the only hmm. solution, the only solution to this problem is let the people exercise their rights contained in Article 2 of the um, United um, uh, Article 1 of UN Charter Article 1 Part 2 of UN Charter Article 2 of African of of of, of, um, of um, um, uh, this um, AU Charter African Charter on Human and People's Rights Are you getting it now? Yeah. These are the, these are yeah. the, these are the rights that accrue to every living human And Section 12 of our Constitution says that any international law or convention or treaty wherein the federal government of Nigeria is a signatory that whenever it is domesticated that that law should take effect and become operational in this country. That's section 2 of the constitution. Now, these chapters I've mentioned now have been domesticated by virtue of section 2 of our constitution. Therefore, it is not illegal for somebody to decide or to de demand for his right to self-determination. 
It is not illegal. It's not illegal in the international community. It is not illegal in our Nigeria in this our country. When we went to court, the court gave ruling on the first of March this year. When we went to court, the court ruled that because the one of the allegations against Namdekan was that uh, IPOB is an illegal organization. I told you that we approached the courts that the courts will review the proof of evidence with which the federal government supports the allegation. The court reviewed them and struck out about five of them. Okay. One of okay. which one of which was that IPOB was is an illegal uh, organization. The court held that IPOB is a lawful organization. The court held so. This court that is trying the matter now held okay. so. Okay. Okay. Are you getting it now? Yeah. No, there yes. is there is no evidence. You cannot see there is no evidence whether video or picture in this country or outside the country where you can see a member of IPOD carrying a stick or carrying a gun or a machete or any weapon. You cannot see any. The federal government, even the last time we approached the court for for, for the violation of the uh, bill condition, they brought out some so many newspaper this thing rally and all that saying that Nandi have been rallying around. Has been summoning people, declaring um, that people should boycott the election and all that, but they were unable to produce any video or picture wherein um, members of IPOB were carrying flag, were carrying any weapon. The only thing you will see them carry is Nigeria, is a Biafran flag, and that is their there weapon. Is and that is their weapon. That's their weapon. There's nothing criminal about the activities. Hmm. We went to court. We defended it. The court ruled that IPOB is a peaceful and a lawful organization. My brother, God that bless was victory you, to the God truth. Bless God bless your group. That was victory to the truth. And now there is, we have another, another, another group of lawyers. I am, I am the, I am the, I am the, I am the director of that group. We are, we are, we, we are called IPOB defense writers. Wow! I founded it. I founded it. What we do is we reply to any nonsense, anything written against the activities. Of the IPOB, we reply it with laws. We have a team of lawyers that we go, we do research, thorough research. Whatever you write against IPOB, we give you the legal background of it. IPOB is a well organized and a well informed organization. Uh, um, we advise uh, them on what their right is. We advise them on how to go about what they are doing, and they are following it. They are following it religiously. Okay, barrister, I would like to chip in something. You know. Um, this? my people my people all of you listening or uh, the ones that will listen later um you are hearing the voice of uh um nam the carlos lawyer um you can say that my name um, you can tell them my full name so that michael ogobushi michael ogobushi michael ogobushi I want to be a wuchi, I don't want to be a wuchi. You know, so, um, Una Nona Ihokuru, you people have heard him clearly. Especially this group now that they just um, um, created, they need our backup. They will need our backup because if Yoruba, or let me not use Yoruba, sorry for that, if um, Nigerian press is writing, televising wrong information about IPOB, about our great leader and other activities going around him. Replying them directly will not kill the fake news. I, yes, Zebedi Ejilike Mowa, Korea, is promising you, Barista, that I will provide my yeah. platform to televise okay. and kick against every fake news on planet. And because of this thing, I may create a different topic that I will even put it as a, as a, people will be watching it as a serial in the United States through Amazon television. That would but be a very good thing. My people, we need your support. Your support is needed. Listen, I don't, I don't know how to put it. I don't want to, um, this uh, donation of a thing. This one belongs to um, Billy Human Right. But Barrister, well, I need you, I need your groups. And I know that being online live costs money, airtime, and everything. 
they are they are um, 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 devoting their knowledge to support the struggle we we have to devote our that letter even though it's one one dollar to make sure that this man will be live always to counter the fake news to make sure that his colleagues will join him on a round table and counter they will carry newspaper they will read out the fake news and they will shoot direct to that point and the entire with world will listen to with it. law and facts with laws yes. and facts you know what i will do it will not be today i will figure out an account with international um, information place it here everything got to be open anything that comes in i will snap the account directly you say it this is coming in and this is going out to nigeria that would be a very to good support element. them to bring more of them more of his colleagues live on this show and i would like to bring look today i would not like to you i would not lie to people before god and man maybe if the penalty comes i will snap it i will scan it and send it to you people you know that yesterday a lot of people tried to call through whatsapp and the airline could not get through to net because of technical yes. issue i rushed today before the time we start to buy the real cables my brother because of we have only 15 minutes before the store will close i didn't know that i parked via bicycle riders does park they gave me because um, um tow van came to tow my vehicle and i came out mm -hmm. and i blocked it they said okay you got to pay 270 euro it's from my pocket i did not request from anybody i paid for it and why because i want to get the cable so that your voice will get out there for people to hear your voice that is the only thing i have to offer to you people but the thing is this for the barrister and his group he said fake news listen if you have twitter account add apple into your twitter account and write rubbish about apple no matter where you are writing from you will get counter motion immediately because they yeah. know the value of black melon they don't and what people do these days go ahead buddy. And, and what we do eh, we encourage people some of our friends people that know us on facebook and all that we encourage them to send us anything anybody writes against IPOB or their friends, against Ibros. That is what myself and my group do. I have intelligent lawyers, I have lawyers that are devoted, because we're not fighting, but we're not just fighting for Biafra. We are fighting for justice. We are fighting for fairness. Are you getting it now? Real human rights whatever, lawyers. Yes, whatever that is wrong is wrong. Whether it is done to Ibos, Neurobas, or Vaosas. Apart from the fact that it is being done to us directly, it is it is it is chronically wrong. The, 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 the treatment is chronically wrong. It is inhuman. And every person that has the spirit of God in him should not be comfortable with this. So I we, we encourage people to send us articles written by anybody, send us the link, send us the anything, anywhere is we reply any to that bad person. news you read about biafra any bad news they read about nam they about eastern region copy it if you doesn't have the barrister's information send it to me i will forward it to him they have groups that will analyze it and come on air many will write and many may come on air to counter it directly look barrister i want it this way as you are sitting there now you hold the paper or the link. You said link website zebedicorier.com. You write, I quote, blah, 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 blah. And I countering this thing on, you know, you counter it, people, the video will remain permanent on air. People will watch that video 50, 250 times. Yes. Even though those that read the news will come one day and see, oh, it's a lie. Look at the lawyer defending what, you know, that is how we do it here in Europe. No company that you will write against them or try to blackmail them that will, that will just leave you to go. Like, for example, many people we are insulting uh, our great brother, um, uh, Chino Achebe, right? Achebe, the man that has things fall apart, is Achebe, right? Yes. 
Yes, let's because, uh, yes um, 50 Cent wanted to pay millions to borrow his name to add fame. Because Achebe, our brother, know the value of identity. He said, my son, you tried, but I will not. This things fall apart. It's not for sale. Our people should know the value of identity. Because in Nigeria today, they are trying to stamp us that we are the Yahoo. We are the criminal. We are the kidnapper. We are this. We are that. All these things are lies. They brought out our brother in Lagos State that he was kidnapping people. Isn't also, but that man that was kidnapping people, a lot of um, obas, emirs in that area, even the police police directors of who forces people are getting money from that man. Is it not true? They know him as a criminal, but they keep on protecting him. Why? Because he was settling them. But they will not tell you that all of them, because Nigerian law, if I made mistake, Barista, please correct me, that he who, he who buys stolen goods is also a criminal, because you are motivating the criminal to go ahead. Is it not so? Yes. So you that is collecting bribe from a criminal to protect him, you are even number one criminal. Please, Barista, continue. Let me know what my so <laughs> that is a uh, that is what I'm trying to say. People should be able to know the truth about what is going on. And how do you know the truth? You know the truth from the people that were there. Yes. People that were there, people that are doing it. I I can't go to court. We argue in court, we come out, then somebody who sat um in, in the comfort of his office, who never visited the court, will not come and write something. That will be more truthful than what I witness in court. It's not possible now. It's not possible. <laughs> and you know that somebody who has the voice to write something like that, before you come out of that court, his story have already gone, gone throughout Nigeria. And and, and most time when I go to court, if if we are to get judgment that very day, what I do is that I record the judgments. Like the last time, the one of the uh, first of uh, first of this first of uh, um, November. I mean first of March. The one that they struck out about five charges out of uh, the 11 count charges. I recorded them. I played them from time to time. The one that they gave ruling with respect to the bail application of our director and the canon. I recorded them and all that. So, I, and I played them from time to time. Do you, <laughs> you cannot do you, know what. Do you, do you have the. Is it legal for us to make it public for people to hear? Uh, what I did is that I had to, I had to put it in writing. I made a, I made summaries. I made summaries. I will post it. I will send it to you in your inbox, but not the audio. I will, I will send you the, the, written, the written summaries okay. of what happens in court. Okay. For, his, for the several days. calling in. Can we, should we pick? Yes. Okay. Of course. Okay. This caller keeps on calling, but if I try to pick, the, uh, I don't know. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello, the call on the line. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Here is uh, even good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, I K David Matuku. I'm calling from Dubai. IK, you are welcome to our show. What would you like to ask? Sure. Uh, what I would like to ask uh, our barrister is this. Uh, thank you so much for the stuff, been, uh, for all the efforts you and your team have been contributing towards Biafra restoration. And I also thank you. Your microphone is making noise. Maybe something is touching it, or you are working on something. I don't know. But... Yeah. Okay. I also thank you for your efforts for trying to uh, unite the Biafrans to your platform. God bless you. We appreciate it so much. Uh, well, I have a question to ask, uh, Barisa. Go ahead. So the question is this: We are uh, now looking at the fact that. The Nigerian government yes. are trying to uh, delay this case of our leader, Mazi Namdi Kano. So, 
at what point can we take this case to is that your question can you hear me your line is hanging uh, so Varesa, did you hear what he said no no i didn't hear him oh too bad um like uh, uh, what extent are they going to take all uh, this uh maybe postponing or whatever by the court uh you know the you know what well, adjournments yeah it's one of the procedural requirement of trials i get it now yes the, the business of the courts is not it's not a uh, not a warm business. If you come to court in a day, you have several cases before the court. The court will not start up your case and finish your case in the same day. No, it doesn't. The court, will take, up case, uh, the court will take up your case, do the most they can do for that very day, or do the business of the court. If a case is adjourned to today, the court will say, this case is here by adjourned to so and so date for mention. When it comes to that very day, they will only mention the case and, and adjourn again. If the court says, this case is here by adjourned to so and so date for ruling, on the day of ruling, on, on that that very adjourned date, the court will give ruling. If the court says the, these cases are here by adjourned for so and so, so and so day for the testimony of so and so person, on that day they will take the testimony. So adjournment is the rights of everybody. It could be my client that is not ready for that very day. It could be the client. It could be the federal government that is not ready for that very day. For example, if I come to court today, on an account to be tried, and it's not feeling fine, are you get me now? Yes. It's not feeling. It is my right to inform the court that my client cannot be in court today, and the court, at its discretion, will grant adjournment. So this thing is not postponement. It is a, it is a, it is a necessary, and it is a necessary and unavoidable element of procedural trial. Yeah, but the person in prison <laughs> who would <laughs> would like to get out so quickly. <laughs> um, it is quite. Unfortunate that um, there are some some inconveniences attached to trials, not only in Nigeria, but in other parts of the world. Yes. Uh -huh. It's a criminal matter. Of course, we know they are innocent. That is why we are defending them in court. We, we believe they are innocent. Based on the fact available to us, we believe they are innocent. Based on the, um, the, the, the laws we know, we believe they are innocent. Are you getting it now? Yes. Uh -huh. So that is why we are defending them. But the truth is that it's quite unfortunate that we are, they were denied bail. Bail is your rights. But this right is at the court discretion. When I mean discretion, the court has the powers to either grant it or refuse it, in as much as the bail is our rights. So that is it. Um, somebody is calling from uh, WhatsApp upon that I said. The, uh, the caller through WhatsApp, uh, I can't pick your call because uh, we have technical issues. I just said it now. Um, your call can't come through. You may write something. Uh, I may read it out if you doesn't mind. Um, but, uh, so, Barista, what can we do to help others that are still in prison? We, are, we, 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 we have our, our team working from time to time. You get we have our strategies we have our trial mechanisms that we are using and we believe it will work so you know i'm not supposed to be telling us saying the next step we're no taking. you don't need to you don't need to you don't need to you don't need as, to. I'm, as, 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 as i'm talking to you now the other people are hearing it and all that everybody so everybody this, our good friends and the bad friends are <laughs> among our viewers but, you know <laughs> but, but the only thing i can say is that we are doing everything within the ambience of the law Okay. To secure their release. Okay. That is just the thing I should. Uh, um, I think everybody should know. We are doing everything because, like I told you, we don't involve in anything fraudulent. We don't involve in anything criminal. We are ministers of God in the temple of justice. Our work is to defend our clients within the ambit of the law. And I want to assure you that the law is in our favor. Okay. Based Thank on the available you. facts Thank in our you. position. Thank you for that. Yes. Thank you for that. Um, in the 
in the other area um, 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 about um, um, with, um, is there no um, 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 mechanism that we can use to fight the state governments in terms of this life ammunition being used upon our people? Because your learned friend just made a statement. He said that every governor of every state is the commander uh, um, the uh, commander of uh, armed forces, like uh, is the director for the whole uh, forces <laughs> in his state. Uh, what is uh, what is you know is uh, the line is the line is freezing. Um, it's like we're having technical issue now. The line is freezing. I can't hear yourself, you know. Now, let's do it this way. One minute. It's network. Hmm. How do I do this then now? Okay, this way will be more better. Let me see whether the line will be clear now. <clears throat> Barista, can you hear me now? I can hear you very well. Okay, I'm hearing you clear. So please continue on that question. You asked me a question as to the the potency of the governors as the chief security officer of their states. Yes. To what can we do for them to start using tear gas on our brothers or water cannon, not live ammunition? Um, what you what you should know is this. Hmm? Yes. The constitution of Nigeria section 215 mm -hmm. yes makes the nigerian police command of each state answerable to the ig i get it now <laughs> the inspector, the inspector <laughs> of police they are not answerable to the governor oh my god then the the the, the ig himself is directly answerable to the minister of interior who is directly answerable to the presidency? Are you seeing the problem now? Oh my God. So, it is not what people think that it is. The law is that all the states police command hmm. are under the IG, are under the very under various zones that are still under the IG. So they are not answerable to the governor. That is why the IG of police, by law, has the right to transfer any body, any commissioner. Of, in, fact, he do, in fact, the state government does not appoint commissioner of police. It is the IG of police that sends a commissioner. That is why an man can be sent to Ambra states. An man can be sent to Delta states. An man can be sent to Ebony states. You don't have the commissioner. And that also man is still answerable to the also man who is the IG of police. So, how do you, how do the governors come in? But I don't want to exonerate the, exonerate, exonerate the governors from their laxity. I don't want to defend them one bit because they are also failing woefully in what they should do to protect our people. Look at Governor Fayoshi of Ekiti State. Yes. Hmm? The, these harassmen, these harassmen, people feel any harassmen. They went to their state and they messed up. This man quickly recruited people that would take care of them. He ordered that anybody that is seen really cattle anywhere in the city should be arrested by the people he recruited, not Nigerian police. And these people, they had to come and beg him on their knees. That is what a fearless governor should do. Do you know Fayoche, being a Yoruba man, is so much respected by every member of IPOB. Yes, I know. The other day, we were in court. I was with him in court. He came to court with us. He announced his, 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 his solidarity with, our, with uh, um, Director Nandekano. He announced his allegiance to the agitation of the IPOB. So this man 
defended his people. He didn't depend on the police structure of the go of the federal, federal government. He didn't depend on the army. He didn't depend on the energy. He didn't depend on the on the air force. He quickly improvised and defended his people. They don't keep him in the state now. But come to come to the eastern eastern part of the uh, part of the country, you know, they killed over 200 persons. I mean, they killed over 40 persons. Injured more than 200 persons. Displaced them in their house. And the governor couldn't put a finger. Yes, they, they put him on hold when he was calling the president. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Yes. Then what did he do? When they put Fayoze on hold, did he relax? Did he relax? He took hmm. personal actions and defended his people. I have a friend that normally uses, he said that if you are trying to obey to Nigerian law, they will give you what they call permit language. And you, keep, you will stand there waiting for them. <laughs> so, oh my God. Well, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that, in as much as I believe that, okay, now they had the meeting, all the governors in the Southeast. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please elaborate and a little were, bit about that meeting. They were, they, were, they were still begging him to, to relax his, 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 his movement, that they want to look into the matters, into the issues. But we all know that they don't want to look into any issues. They only gathered because it is not affecting them, because of the election boycotts. Yes. That is why they all. They all when they were killing people, massacring Igbos everywhere, they didn't rise up. They didn't when they issued utter threat a that word. Should, they didn't utter a word. When they issued threat that Igbos should leave not, not, not that part of the country, no governor, they didn't, they didn't have any governor's forum meeting to react to that in unison. But because they said they should boycott the election, their personal interests have been affected. They are all now having meetings everywhere. Even I would like to talk to my people because I get a revolution yesterday night. If you have anybody in, in northern Nigeria, upon they say that they have withdrawn their their quick notice, please leave that territory before that day. Because the ones in politics are talking to you, while the ones that doesn't even understand the simple English are moving around with their machet, waiting for the D-Day to come. Please, so, I'm begging you. So I just pray that uh, they will understand. Mr. Zabedi, I don't know if... Uh, I can sign up at this moment. My uh, barrister, <laughs> I, I will thank you very much for yes. making out this time to even though consuming the little airtime that you have to educate our people yes. more. Um I will make sure that we will see something, we will do something to support even not only you, we need other your colleagues to come and uh, elaborate yes. and educate our people the more. Even the fight that you are fighting, even though some of the fake news that you have countered we would like you to come on air mention them and uh, fight everything directly it's all right, it's all right i'm always willing to do whatever it takes for justice to be done thank you sir thank you very much that is thank what you. i'm created for thank you God that, bless that, you. that is my that is my desire yes thank yes. you thank, thank you. you very much i really appreciate it's what thank you thank it's, it's my pleasure okay my, my brother pleasure. bye bye call me anytime you day I Thank will. you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. So, my people, you have heard from the horse's mouth. Uh, um, my people, I will bring out uh, a, a, a platform where we'll be able to support Barista and I mean the Namde Carlos Barista uh, lawyer and his group so that they will be able to come on air on this platform to air their view to counter anything fake news about the eastern region people about the beer france about me and you about our identity they are the fighters of, of 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 our identity they will defend us to any level they are on the ground in nigeria battling nigerian government on behalf of us and it is our duty to tell them thank you amen Onya se ase meko nya kede ya gotozo. We should make a land akede. We should uh, tell barristers uh, that uh, come on air and educate us. We are ready to listen to your message. This is Zebedi Ejilike Mowa. Oga drindi bo namma. As moga gaz rindi bo. Onye wone mado no gwa wasabi ko bome esi ayoma ayoma. Makana he chuku gosrem na bale. Hemenem di te nora ni suto ta o. Ozu, mnunu shi ozu. O shi gidele macho de wabwa na bedi. Bishina bedi malite ya wana migora. Bikono. 
unu si eba ha bapoga unu anokole eba ha maka ihe nile na egwoge na wo politics the real people are not ready my brother calling on skype on on whatsapp i cannot pick your call i'm still on air so um unu gbale ya zie ndi unu na eba si ha bikonu ha ha pugugu awosa since how many years could make exist in Ogawasa? On first October, before first October, leave that territory. If you are there, then I will only say sorry because alarm will blow. And there is another revolution that God gave to me. This one is going to United States. I am here for Biafran people. This is Bureau African Television. But United States, you want to go to war with Russia. God revealed to me yesterday night. You are prepared and willing to battle Russia. But I'm using this platform. I have no connection to Russia. I have nothing but God said I should talk to you, United States. I am nobody. I am nothing on this planet. But I am somebody because I'm Zebedee. My message to you is this. Don't go to that war. If you go, all your half of your air force will be down. God revealed it to me. Half of your air force will be down and Russia will dominate the whole Europe. Russia will be every corner in Europe and you can never, ever stop it. Because you will not like to throw nuclear bomb and Russia will not throw nuclear bomb. They will conquer the whole verdammed rubbish corner of Europe. Please, the structure that Germans have tried to develop, we don't want to destroy it. Don't go to war with Russia. Find a room to make peace. My people, this is Miro African Television. I am here for Bia France, nothing more. But that revolution, I have to give it out for me to have rest. Because I'm not having rest because of this revolution. So, my people, we have to support the barrister of Nam De Carlo in any corner. For them to be coming online to teach us to counter fake news. Nothing more but to counter fake news. Because barrister says, before court closed, Fake news have already circulated all over Nigeria because we know the people that has the power of media that are selling fake news. But this middle Africa will still grow up to their own level. But for now, we should give them voice to speak to our people. God bless you. God bless you, Mubiafra. Kogaziene, ask him tomorrow by 8 o'clock. We got to be live. And I pray that God will give us knowledge on things to discuss. God bless you for now and bye bye. Have a wonderful day. Go to Drew no more for a bye bye. Sabo
boca, 